Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to export SSRS report to Excel and name sheets to the group values automatically. So let me show you in the last video what we did we exported drill down report to the Excel and this is how it will show up. So whatever the name of the report that became the name of the tab here or the sheet name and then we have these plus signs so we can expand or drill down. So if we have subgroups you have a further these plus and minus sign you can collapse back or expand them so we can also click here on these values so if you click on one and then two you know that's how you can go in detail so that's quick way to do it but if you would just like to go for maybe Asia and then countries in Asia you have to come back here and do step by step but that's great now what we would like to do we would like to have each region on each sheet so that's what our goal is so first of all let me go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and that's where we are so what we are going to do first we will introduce a page break between these groups so let's preview the report sorry we are already in the preview so let's go back to design and if we preview the report this is how it will look like we can expand it now I'm, I want to have a page break between each of the group by region so I'm gonna go to the row groups uh, and then uh, right click uh, and uh, group properties uh. so once I'm there I'm going to go to page break uh, and then uh, between each instance of a group uh. so I'm gonna click that part and then uh, hit OK now if we preview our report uh, we will see each group uh, on individual page uh, or new page uh. so you will see that right here so we have Asia and uh, all the values come in on first page if we go to the next page we have Europe and then we have North America so if I will deploy this report to the report server and then export from there to the Excel what happened so let's go ahead and deploy right click and deploy in the last video I showed you how to set up the deployment properties you can watch that as well so in the report manager I'm gonna go to the export reports demo and that's where our report is and you can see each group is coming on uh, its own page so we have Asia on the first page Europe on the next page and then North America on the third page now we can expand this one if we would like and take a look on the records so this is what we have in the North America I'm gonna go to the export button click here go to Excel and then here it will ask me okay where you would like to save so I'm gonna save as It's taken a couple of seconds now I would like to save this report in the videos folder so I'm gonna call this one underscore 2 and save let's open this report and take a look what Excel is showing us so we see that here on the sheet 1 we have Asia and sheet 2 we have Europe and sheet 3 we have North America as we have expanded the report items or the subgroups and uh, group for North America the Excel took that as it is but we can uh, put it back if we want or we can simply click on this uh, 3 and 2 and 1 so this is our main uh, group uh, and then you have subgroups and all that and uh, this is detail so if you have further you will have more um, numbers here now this is a, this looks good but each one has its own sheet number so it's not coming to the sheet name let's say you have uh, tons of them and you would like to see the sheet uh, name itself like for Asia you would like to see Asia here for Europe you would like to see Europe here in the sheet name we can do that now one more thing I would like to tell you guys if you would not have a page break then the the entire report will come on a single sheet so that's the first step when you want to uh, have multiple sheets per group you have to have a page break between the groups let's go back to the SSDT and then make some changes go to the design again and now here the same group what we have used let's say I would like to use the region so I would like to show region on for as a sheet name so I'm gonna click F4 so first of all you select that one press F4 and it will show you the properties now in the properties what we need to find uh, we need to find uh, under the groups uh, we will go to the page break uh, so in the page break uh, we will have a page name uh, so that's where we need to write some expressions uh, so right 
uh, hit expression and here what we would like to see we will go to the fields uh, and I would like to see the region so I'm going to double click on the region and the dash value is here so we are all good hit OK save your report build your project and uh, once uh, you build the project uh, you can go ahead and deploy this report uh, so now let's go back right click on the report deploy to the report for uh, server we can also export this report from here from the SSDT SQL Server data tools but I don't really uh, I'm not showing you here because users will be the people who will uh, uh, download these files to different uh, uh, folders and uh, save these uh, reports as a developer you will not be really uh, same in these maybe for test purpose yes you will go to preview and hit the export from here and then that will uh, let you export to the any format whatever is available so we have Excel here we can export from here but I will recommend going to the report server as we have a deploy the report go to drill down sorry go to drill down report preview the report and now you will see there is no difference here we don't see anything changed on this uh, part uh, still we have uh, the uh, records uh, by group on each of the page but uh, when we'll export uh, to the uh, Excel it will bring those uh, region name to the sheet so let's go back and uh, hit uh, export button and uh, go to Excel and here we will be saving this report save as it's taking a couple of seconds go to the okay I'm gonna call this one uh, underscore three save and once the report will be downloaded we can open it so open the report and now what you see you see that Asia Europe and North America still uh, each group is coming to the uh, individual page uh, and also you see that uh, you have the tabs uh, coming as your group uh, name so that's great one more thing uh, you have as as you can see that the title is coming on the first one you can uh, also set that uh, to the each uh, page and uh, you would like to go back let's say and then you can go ahead and put uh, this one on each of the page so that's possible uh, I have done that uh, in my um, uh, old videos you can go ahead and watch those videos and uh, from there you can display the title on each of the page it's very easy so thanks very much and uh, this is how you will be creating uh, the sheet names uh, according to the group automatically so tomorrow if you will have new group uh, in the report uh, you do not have to do anything once you export it uh, all the sheets will be named according to the group's value so thanks very much and i will see you guys in the next video